Hey, yo, what's going on with it? Once again, bros, women, bronies, and bags is the one and only. Of course, Mr. Nintendo Sony Free 2011 8K Criticism Guide 2009. And of course, you guys are in the rest of the intro. Before we begin, definitely check out FreeNorward.com. Of course, I'll be nice to on that for you. One of channel there, design, and or picture. They're simply drawn and made for you. I'll put their link in the description box below to their official YouTube channel. And of course, like always, I'll put their, their um, link to their official home webpage or website, whatever you want to call it. Best partnership I've ever had, all that good stuff. Check them on Google if you want to check that out as well. And uh, yeah, let's get into this thing um, ASAP. Let's go. So, and uh, I'm actually going to put it a little bit faster. Let's see, medium. Yeah, that should be better, right? Hopefully it's good. Anyways, and um, let's see. Yeah, give me one second really quick because I completely forgot to take this out. Sorry about that. Apologies, apologies. That never really happens. But, my God, um, this is a little bit of a... Uh, low blow to the news especially with gaming industry and uh mostly people know last year i actually went to gamestop as much as i don't give a crap about gamestop i did go just for this one time because they were having a little bit of a sale thing going on with the, the pokemon tcg they when they had that whole um the whole phantom forces with gengar or whatever when the gengar spiritual link their spirit link the whole thing with the hollow and everything which was nice as hell by the way so i couldn't resist it even though it was way too freaking overpriced but Sorry, what the hell? I know GameStop, it's, GameStop is notorious for overpricing crap and giving really bad deals to people and stuff, but just that one time I let it slip, slide, and that was it. Other than that, I never want to go back there again. Hopefully I don't do nothing like that. It's only in GameStop. Hopefully they do it in other places. Like, I had to do with the Pokemon Rumble thing. I didn't really care too much for that game, though, so it didn't matter. Yeah, so let's get into this. So, shout out to Proto Mario, obviously, a.k.a. the Maverick guy, or Maverick Rebellion, whatever you want to call him actually heard about it from his channel a couple hours ago and it said for him um something a little bit different because he gets his stuff from shack news i never get it from there because i can never find it on the internet i've found it very few times but it doesn't appear a lot in google i don't know why but yeah here we go i'll put both the links that i read in the description box below if you don't want to hear me read them just saying just putting it out there it's probably already in my face or somewhere on the side left to right in this computer screen or in the back oh i actually got a lot of stuff going on i had to borrow one of these clothes from my roommates because i was doing laundry today i haven't done those freaking two months it's too damn long so it says um gamestop and this is from ign i know a lot of people say ign's crap and some people they really like it so i'm not gonna argue with you there this is from ign saying gamestop to offer classic game consoles and games for new york city and it's from the 15th too so it's only like three days ago so it says dust off your nintendo 64 once again and the other retro consoles once again, it and other retro consoles will be accepted to GameStop. The company will be launching a pilot sales and trade-in per program for retro consoles, games, and accessories in two of its markets beginning on April 25th. Stores in the New York City and stores in its New York City and Birmingham markets. I think that's what I'm saying. Birmingham markets. I don't know if it's Birmingham, Alabama. So any of you southern people out there that live in the southern part here in the U.S. Maybe you do know, or any people outside the U.S. that you have a GameStop, like in some parts in Europe, in Mexico, South America, some parts in Europe, China, Japan, Philippines, Australia, Canada, wherever you're watching this around the world, um, just let me know if they're doing that over there, too, in your country or cities, country or outside the country, outside the U.S. Who knows? It's Whatever you're watching, if you can understand my English, if you're outside the U.S. Okay, so it says, um, yeah, Birmingham Markets will which compromise or compress about 250 store locations will play host for the games. And there's a little video there. I'm not going to play it. So it says, according to a spokesperson for GameStop, the quality will begin accepting games. Okay, this is what they say in their own words. Accepting, quote, games, systems, and selective accessories for most retro platforming games. And it says, um, going all the way back to the NES system, which I actually didn't have, I did have back in the day, but unfortunately I had to give it back a long ass time ago. I still got the SNES though. Let's see, um, of its program proved successful, GameStop hopes to roll out nationally later this year. The system and accessories that you will be able to trade in and purchase include the, SN the NES, the SNES, Sega Genesis, PlayStation, PlayStation 2, GameCube, and um, then to say you Dreamcast. This will increase the number of games that GameStop offers either for sale or to purchase about 500. And it says, quote, we will bring all of the product ba back to the refurbishment operation center for inspections, taste, testing, and repairs. 
GameStop told us. The lead between its games should accept trade, and when the products will be on sale, estimated for about two months. This gives the company sufficient processing and processing time and time to build up good assortment for retro games for, to select from wherever they want to shop, or from when to shop, excuse me. However, when you won't be in a, I can't even read that word, inundated, I think that's what it is, inundated with the sights of sounds of your favorite return games when you walk in at the local stores. Purchases can be made on GameStop's website through its web in-store system. And it says, um, keeps going on to further say, the GameStop spokesperson said all of these retro consoles are expected to have some way warranty as of current use refurbished in consoles. Earlier in the year, a report surfaced that GameStop has developed a system to repair the dreaded Red Ring of Death in the Xbox 360, which thank God I've never owned it. I never will own one. I'm sorry. Sorry, Microsoft Xbox fan boys. I just I can't do it. Consoles, a report that was later verified in a statement from the co copy from the company, excuse me. At the beginning of March, GameStop announced that it will once again start accepting PS2 consoles for the in-store credit. And then it still goes on and says, What do you think? Do you have a spare retro console? laying around you'd like to turn into new games or are you interested in finding a one-stop shop for your retro needs give us conversation in the comments below and i might read the second one like i said i might split this into two parts so bear with me if i do unfortunately end this thing abruptly so yeah here we go so this is what polygon says gamestop wants your old consoles and games in for trade of course they're probably a cash cow for this type of sucker endorsement type of thing which i still don't give a crap about it rats ass about gamestop that much anymore so yeah, this was from Dave Tech on April 15th, which was only like three days ago, like I keep saying. 9 p.m. Dang, or 9 a.m., excuse me. He has a Facebook and Twitter, so I guess follow him, I guess. GameStop will begin accepting old consoles, games, and accessories for trade and beginning on April 25th in about 250 stores. A representative from the company told IGN. For now on, for now, excuse me, for now those stores are limited to New York and Birmingham, in Alaska markets. I didn't even know they were from... Oh, it was Burning Ham and Bama. I was right. Not Alaska. What? <laughs> Those interested in boosting or uploading their classic game collectibles will be able to able to order GameStop's votes through its picket to enter... Pick it up a store system. Not picket to enter system. What the hell? If accepting trade-ins from hardware as old as Nintendo Entertainment System proves that it's worth the company will, and then I quote unquote will, Made the program national later this year, end quote. Beyond Nintendo's original consoles, GameStop consumers will also be able to purchase a trade-in for Super Nintendo, SNES, Sega Genesis, and the original PS1 and N64 and Dreamcast alongside it. We will bring, and this is this guy's quote, we will bring all the products through the refurbishment operations center for inspection and testing premieres, the GameStop representative said. All told that the company accepts to increase the numbers of purchases items for about 5,000. That's a lot. In early March, GameStop announced that it will be accepting these PS2 gaming consoles for trade. The policy reversed to the company's decision to stop accepting PS2 games back in June of 2013. And then the source is from image source from Mark Ramsey and Flickr, so check that guy out, I guess. And overall thoughts, reviews, and opinions. I know this has had nothing to do. This has stuff to do with gaming, but it has to do with no specific link games specifically. I feel that um, my own like specific own personal opinions on it is that I, I feel like this is going to be another bite in the ass, just like Proto Mario said in his videos that this kicks a lot of ass. Unfortunately, this kicks ass in a bad way. This pretty much craps all over mom and pop stores that are really really huge. Like out here in Vegas, I know there's two of them. Well, actually, no, like um, there's one. There's a big giant one on strips called GameWorks. There's usually a lot of 80s and 90s old school games on there. They might have recharged it a lot more different or maybe added a little PS3 or 4 games on or Xbox 360 or Xbox One game now. Who knows? But it's expensive. It's also like 30, 40 bucks to get in or 50 if you want to be there all day. And like 20 or 25 if you want to be there for one or two hours. So it's pretty damn overpriced. But if you're a tourist, you have money on here at 702, you can check that out. Actually, was there like 12, 13 something years. It's been a little while since I went there. It doesn't matter though. And there's another one, I think it's called Game and Toy Companies, or I think Wireless Toys, I don't know. Something like that, it was a mom and pop store out here, and I think it's in California too, I'm not sure, don't quote me on that. 
So if you ever come out here to 702, definitely check that out. They sell a lot of old school cartridge stuff. I usually go there like once a month whenever I get an old school gaming system. Just for um for the looks and design and just cherishing the, the unique old school sex appeal, the weak the amazement that Nintendo and SNES did. And I know it's kinda weird like um referring a inanimate object to something sexy, but men do it sometimes, even just the manly men type of guys. They do it with their cars, they do it with football, they do it with basketball. Which I really don't get two craps and an F about too much, honestly to be perfectly honest with you, but I do my like my baseball a couple times every now and then, but that's pretty much it. And boxing, too. I can't forget that. Other than that, um, what else? What else? What else? Another thing I see, this is a really huge-ass issue. It's going to be for a lot of eBay people and Amazon that sell a lot of old-school retro gaming systems. It's going to pretty much sell them the hell out. So eBay or Amazon, they're probably going to have to do something sooner or later to, like, um, run in the GameStop's competition with that. So it's going to be a huge-ass um, used game war the way this is going on. Because I don't see this ending too well for either side of the battlefield. No way, no pun intended for Battlefield 4 or 5 or 6 or whatever FPS games that come out in the future with that. Besides COD and Halo and all that good stuff. But anyways, let me get my drink on. It's not alcohol, by the way. I just like calling it that. It's water. Um, <laughs> I am over 21, so it doesn't matter. Um, Let's see what else, what else. My own other opinion I really want to say on this is that, oh my god. They're probably, like Proto Mario said in his own words, they're probably not going to give you 10, 20, 30 something minutes or a half hour just specifically for you for a customer. They're like, oh, we'll check everything out for you. We'll see if everything's good. They're probably just going to send it to a company thing. You're probably going to get at the lowest three, five, ten bucks, and the most you're going to get 25, which is kind of crap. Because back in those days, it was about two, three hundred dollars, maybe four hundred at the most, especially for a PS2 and GameCube. I, think, I remember there being like two ninety nine, three ninety nine, three fifty at the most. They were never over that. And I think with NES and SNES, my God. Of course, I was a kid at that time. Or a baby, I think, when NES came out. Um, actually, even before that, I think it was 1985 or 86. So, pff, it's older than I am. I think it's like 29 or 30-something years old. And the SNES, I know, is around my age. Actually, it's a little bit older, I think. Or younger. I think it's like 23, 24 years old. Um, let me think. I think it was like either a... If it wasn't 50 it was 100 or $150 for that console system at that time, along with the PS1 and Sega Genesis. And I think Dreamcast was like $180, $199, $210. I'm not sure. You could completely, don't quote me on it at all. Just Google it yourself or Bing it, Yahoo or whatever search engine you're going to use out there for it to see the official prices of what they were, of course. But with time and technology, as it progresses, it's going to decrease. But the rarity and variety for it, it will obviously make it a lot more bigger and popular than it was back in the days. I mean, look at indie games. That thing is a giant-ass mass media video gaming. Don't get me wrong on that. I'm just saying how it is. I'm telling you how it is, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, last but not least, I really wanted to touch a base on this. Like, Look at the freaking PS2 when they used to sell it. Like I said, in 2013, that was the last time they were buying PS2s and GameCubes. And it kind of sucks ass a little bit because, unfortunately, I did sell off my PS2 at that time for GameStop. I was extremely naive. I was about like 15 year old me, my teenage self. I was a little ruthless at that time. So I was very immature a couple times. Stupid. I did stupid ass crap, but not all the time to the point I went to juvenile hall or jail or nothing, you know. But um, seeing as I'm a little bit older now, a little bit more mature and more wiser, this will go on to make to make believe that the sense that it is real, you know, like being an adult is hard as hell. It's not the easiest thing in the world. Um, Sometimes it's fun, sometimes it's crap. That's how life is. Life is a beast sometimes, sometimes it's awesome as hell. It's kick ass. Um, what else can I say? With PS2, they had a lot of really amazing games. I remember they had Beautiful Joe, even though I gave crap on that game before. I used to like it a lot, then I kind of gave up on it. Kingdom Hearts 1 and 2. I wasn't a huge fanboy of it, but I did like the game a little bit, just a tad bit. And all of my other friends were really big into Final Fantasy, Chrono Trigger, a lot of Mickey Mouse games, a couple Yu-Gi-Oh games, because Yu-Gi-Oh... Besides, Pokemon was still a big franchise in my elementary, middle school years. Very huge-ass, top-of-the-line, demanding um, anime series, too. Nowadays, it's kind of degraded with the anime series, but with the games and stuff, it's pretty damn big. With Yu-Gi-Oh cards, I'm not sure if they still do that or not, because I never really collected the cards very much, but for Pokemon, I did, obviously. I still do TCG videos to this day. You just saw it yesterday, too. Sometimes monthly, I'll do it. Not really weekly, because I don't have money like that. But other than that, um, yeah... Let me get to my real point. What they did to the GameCube there, I remember I had the GameCube, and unfortunately I sold it off to a pawn shop for 50 bucks. but I really wish I would have kept it back then. 
a young 15, 16 year old myself, I didn't care. I just want the money. Sadly, I was very stupid at that time. Um, looking back on it now. But other than that, um, let's see. I mean, look what happened in the Dreamcast. That thing fell off to a massively bad negative. It fell off the cliff in a very bad way. That's uh, the lamest terms I could put it in. That's... And um, let's see. Uh, how are the GameStop companies, like, how are the PlayStation companies, uh, Sony's company, and Microsoft's company going to take this? Are they going to be affected by this or not? Possibly not, because they got billions and trillions of dollars. They're a billion dollar industry, probably trillion by us now. By in the future, maybe less than five or six years from now, they'll probably have Oculus Rift and like um, Project Morpheus, that thing that you put in your face, which I have a little bit of an issue with that, but at the same time, is the future is going to be excelling due to personal, not really religious release reasons, but just other reasons outside of that box, you know. Because I did do a lot of alternative media on my other channel. I don't do it as much. It's rare when I do it now, but some of my criticism got you on for one of them more. So, yeah, links to all this in the annotation, either on my face or on the side, down below. Links in the description below. And peace out once again. Bros, women, bronies, and packages. So I will see you when I see you guys. Have a good day, have a good night, wherever you're at around the world. Don't drink, smoke, weed at the same time. Don't take the reckless. Keep it calm. Keep it cool. Keep it chill. Keep it collective out there. And until then, that's fun, guys. You guys take it easy. Stay safe. I will see you guys soon. And brand new videos on this channel almost every single day. And with that said, I will see you guys soon. And before I do end this off, I will still be doing the My Little Pony Friendship's Magic um, video about the analysis review segment time. I actually did see the episode earlier this morning. It's like bloom and gloom. I already put the reaction on my daily motion account if you want to watch it there for now until I get the segment analysis review thing content out for you. That's how it's going to be. Uh, yeah, you guys take it easy and um, be easy, be you, stay calm. Do you, do yourself, stay true to yourself, stay on the grind, stay healthy, all that good stuff. I'm out like sauerkraut. I got more um, laundry to do, so I will take care of that pretty soon. You guys take it easy, stay safe, and I'll see you guys next time, all right? Take care. Look out for more future content, and I'm out of here. Peace.